I, I gotta go to the song starting. Hey guys, Arthur from the Rosemary's here. I'm the rhythm guitarist in the Rosemary's and I also handle the recording, engineering and the production here in the lovely studio. So today I'm going to be showing you how we basically produce like the process and stuff of uh, uh, one of our new songs, Trust Fund, which should be fun. Uh, as you can see from this instance of Reaper I've loaded, it's quite like there's not much to this, but it's quite um, nifty in a way. Like uh, I'll be doing another video for Payroll Press. which, uh, as you can see, is a bit more complicated. So complicated, we had to bust out the colour coding. Um, but Trust Fund, you know, much more sort of minimalist, simple vibes, as you can see from, like, well, it's, there's not too many tracks, it's 12 tracks. So, basically, Billy came to the studio with the lyrics for Trust Fund, and we just made Easy Peasy around that time, which I'll play now. I survived satanic panic and it left me feeling fucking manic We were in that sort of simple rock, sort of minimalist rock vibe And so he said, alright, I need something quite simple but quite punchy, quite punky uh, and aggressive as well But he said he didn't want it to be too dark So essentially I fiddled around for a bit and then I came up with the riff So then that was quite quick, quite simple. And then, so for the chorus riff, basically what I did is the verse is, is like, the verse riff is in sort of four parts. Uh, and then the last part, it drops down onto the bottom string and goes a bit lower here. So basically I was just taking, keeping it super simple and taking some, the end of that, uh, end of that verse riff and just speeding it up a bit. And that basically became the chorus. And as you can hear there, that sort of feeds quite nicely back straight into the verse. And basically, that's it for the guitar work. It's literally just verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Uh, so for a bit of interest, we added this, uh, or I added this guitar harmony for the second and third choruses. And basically, all it's doing is it's going like an octave and a third higher, uh, just to provide some more colour. I think sometimes it lands on a fourth as well, but this is uh, this is the guitar harmony. So that just comes in for the second and third choruses, a bit of variation. Um, so this is a sort of no effects and just like a basic EQ. And then I added the neutron to clean it up and give it a bit more depth. Which is quite subtle, you can't really hear it too much but... And then we just got basic saturation all the way. And then the last thing I did is I used this nifty little thing, which is meant for vocals. Uh, it's a, like an a, a automatic double tracker. Um, but basically, we were messing around and it works really nicely on guitars. So, I mean, dubs. And if you're listening on headphones, maybe on phone speakers as well, you'll be able to hear that that double tracking makes a huge difference, especially in a song like this, where there's not too much going on, there's only one guitar layer, that double tracking really gives it that sort of presence that you'd feel if you were hearing the song live. Um, so yeah, basically I'll just play the guitar with no effects and you can see the difference it makes. So this is no effects. And then with effects, so much wider, so much more, it's got so much more depth. 
And then basically did a similar thing for the guitar harmonies as well. So that's it for the guitars. Real. Next thing to talk about and the next thing we did, I guess, is just the drums. Um, there's not really too much to the drums. Uh, they're basically just following a sort of pretty simple standard rock. They're basically they're following quite a standard. They're following quite a standard rock pattern, so there's not really much to say. What there is a bit to say about though is the production. So we just got the drum kit here. Very nice. Uh, which basically was. I don't know if it's picking up on the mic, but my neighbor's dog is barking at me every time I speak. Oh well, as long as you can't hear it on the mic, that's fine. Um, but basically, I think Billy was reading some article about some drum production that, that some band were doing. It might have been Oasis or someone. I want more! And basically, they were talking about using sort of like a, a slap back shift delay, which is this sort of thing. Uh, and basically what that does is it like sort of duplicates the drum sound, but slightly delayed. So this is without it. You know, sort of standard drum. And then if we add it in, you can hear it's got like a lot quieter, but you can hear there's sort of two, two, two drum sounds. And it also makes it wider. So this is quite central without it on. Then wider, so much, so much more wide. Um, but then because that sort of takes away, because again, it's meant for vocals, it takes away a lot of the punch. So all we're doing is we're adding that back in with a bit of OTT, uh, which sounds like this. So you can hear without the OTT, a lot of the punch is gone. And then we're, we're bringing it back in with the OTT. We added this tambourine for the chorus, uh, which just goes like one in the right, left ear, one in the right ear. So you can go. And now again, that's just sort of add a bit more variation in the chorus. So uh, we play those together. So that's, that's quite subtle, but it just gives a sort of extra like Pop to the snare because it's just hitting the same time as the snare, and that really is us done with the drums. <laughs> so next thing to talk about is bass. The 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 um, only thing to say about the bass here is that it's actually not a real bass on this song. It's a synth bass, just because of how minimalist the song is. Basically, we just wanted something really really fat. Which, uh, if you're not wearing headphones, you probably can't hear that at the moment. <laughs> so then, because of that, it's pretty impossible to hear unless you're on pretty good headphones. Um, so, of course, we just added some saturation with Avalox Warm, which is, again, meant for vocals, but, you know, it is what it is. And now, if you're on phone speakers, hopefully you can probably hear that now. You definitely will be able to if you're on, like, AirPods or something. If I take it away, you can't hear that's much. And all that's doing is just to make sure that if you're listening on like speakers, then you still get something like bass. Because um, if not, you just get no bass and it just sound a bit weird. So that's all there is to bass. Fun times. And then in terms of like extra stuff, we added in obviously the intros here. Basically, we just put this EQ on it just to make it sound like you're on the phone. As you can see, <laughs> you have a preset called phone. Um, and then the only other thing we did is we added this sort of to make it like sound like you're sort of in the live experience, like seeing it live. We added this intro uh, with the guitar, which if I play it without the fade in, sounds like this. So just sort of like plugging the instrument in and then um, like the scratches, the strings and whatever. So fun times. That's pretty much it for Trust Fund. I mean, yeah.
So stream it, I guess. Now you know how it's all been produced. You can steal my methods. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it basically. So uh, next time you stream it, you can think that you know that the base is not real. There you go. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, I will be coming out soon with a breakdown of Payroll Press, which will be nice. Um, in the meantime, if there's any other songs that you'd like to see, like, a production breakdown for, I will basically... I'll do any song. Um, just let us know in the comments or anywhere. Uh, head over to our Instagram. It's the Rosemary's Band. No, like, nothing fancy, just that one word. Uh, or Twitter, which is... Oh, God. You know what? Screw that. I can't remember the usernames. The, the links are all down below. Uh, you can listen to Payroll Press and Trust Fund out now. Again, link will be down below. And you can see us, Fulford Arms, 29th of April, um, with... We're supporting Eguanodon, and it's going to be mint. So get your tickets. They're also in the description. So have a good day, guys. Uh, I'll see you later. Maybe. Hopefully. I'll see you at a gig. Make sure to stream Trust Fund. Let us know if there's any other songs you want to see, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, love, I, I gotta go to the song starting. Sweet, I'm on the open top bus, there's a cop on the other side.